Hey folks, welcome back to another video on this channel. And I want to show you in this video how to use the scroll and make some nice sounds. So we're going to use the pulley grid for that. And I'll show you in a minute why. Because there's a bug at the moment. But in the pulley grid it works pretty nice. So we use an envelope, we use an audio out here. And we probably have a sound now. Nice. So when you have the scroll here, you can draw in some shapes, anything you want, right? To get the sound out. Which is kind of nice, but sometimes you don't even know what to draw. So that's at least my problem. So what I do most of the times, I'm utilizing the pencil. And then when you draw slowly in a line, you get high resolution dots, right? You get a lot of dots here. And then when you start to draw fast, the resolution goes down, right? You have much bigger spaces between the dots. And with this, you can kind of predefine how your end shape should look like. So here we have these dots. So we have a lot of res a lot of dots here. And you can select everything here with just this selection rectangle. And then we, when you have everything selected, you can go up here to the value, to the histogram. And when you have a chaos, slider here right you can click and drag up to 200 percent go back 200 percent and then you release the key on the mouse it snaps back to zero percent now you can do the same again dragging up different shape dragging up different shape so you can create kind of random shapes with this you also have your scale thing where you can scale it down if you think it's too much and can start over again. Then you get some kind of random complex shape. It almost sounds like a vowel sound, which is probably nice. So we can do here a nice fade over to a different scroll. So we duplicate this and use a merge and maybe a value here. So we can fade between these two. We fade to the second one. And here we draw a different shape. So what we can do now is we can do the same thing. We can maybe draw here slowly, then fast, slowly here again, then fast. And here we just do some random things. Select everything. Scale it up. See how it sounds. Okay. You can also right click in here, use transform and say double content. So just to du duplicate everything in there, double it, right? You get, get more points, more complex shape. Um, we select everything. Would be nice to have, actually have here in this editor some kind of control in A where you can select everything. Um, so here we can select everything, use chaos to randomize all the dots. <laughs> So we get another random shape. It sounds like a complex wavetable. So nice. Maybe use the third one here. And here we do the same thing. Maybe right click and say, let's go for mirror. Let's go for double. And now we try to select everything again here. Chaos. You can also try to use the curvature here, but I think it's not really... So it adds a lot of roundings. Until you like it. Okay, nice. So now we can maybe use here, um, let's say, a pulse. Um, pulse oscillator. 
So instead of using this output here, we use this as a phase input here to this oscillator. Maybe we re-trigger also here all the, all the oscillators. Maybe we pull this down one octave. So we can take a curve module here and use this as an input here, right? So we can fade between this, maybe one bar. So this is one bar now. And here we draw in a different shape, a set curve, um, snap, something like this. Draw this in and again, use here the chaos. Something like this. Here you go to 16 node, 16 dissections here. And then try to match it to the grid. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> Maybe two bars. So we need another curves module here. To basically bring in here the face modulation. Maybe I'll open up here a different shape. Let's go for this one and modulate here the face input. So we get a nice distorted sound there. Let's go for a filter, low bass. Let's use the same shape. All we need now is probably some kind of dubstep drum set, I guess. Um, let's start up my, my sample folder so we can use some kind of drums. We are at 140 BPM, which is good. Um, so yeah, you can basically use these node editors to your advantage, all these features to your advantage to create overly complex waveforms, which is really nice. Um, so let's say if I have some 140 ppm stuff in here. Um, search for drums. Ah, that sounds okay. Okay-ish. Oh, we need to go in here. So audio, this is 140, right? Let's go to slice mode, put this into loop. And then we need here some kind of note. Make this a bit longer, 200%. Probably need to fix here the, the drum loop a bit. Also the bass here needs probably some splitting FX2. We need to remove some, uh, some mid ranges there. This is probably fine at minus four. We close this down. Probably 
need some kind of sidechain there. But you can see you can easily create nice little riffs for uh, dubstep tunes with this. Um, it's just one note, yeah, right? Uh, but you can, of course, can do more if you want to. <laughs> I kind of like it. So, um, yeah, use the scroll note editor here with the value thing. And the one thing I want to show you is that this actually doesn't work in the polymer, so in the outside world of the grid. When you have here um, scroll in here and you call up the editor and you select everything, right? You have here the histogram, but when you click on it, it's just going away. So there's some kind of bug there only works in the grid at the moment but it's really great to create randomized uh, wave shapes here and then save them save them for later um, it's a vowel one maybe I don't know and save this if you if you like the waveform but usually it's pretty fun actually to randomize, use the chaos feature and come up with something new every time you create a track. It's also not really complicated, so I'm not sure if I want to save everything. But sometimes, you know, you have a nice waveform, you think, oh, well, I want to use this more often, then you can save it. Um, so yeah, and then here I just use basically a pulse as a main synth or as the ground foundation of the bass. Uh, one octave lower and then I mix in here with face distortion basically what I created here with the scroll so it's easy peasy dubstep baseline basically with this so yeah this is something I want to tell you because I did this on the weekend for some presets um, and yeah I want to give you some advice there so that's it for this video thanks for watching leave a like if you like the video subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye guys